Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Visual Tail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful fine geometric beaded bracelet. It's easy to make and I'm using really simple stuff so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you will know how to make it by yourself. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. I will give a link to earrings that are made with the same pattern here at the eye icon and also don't forget that down there in the description I always give a short clip to the video that I'm doing so you could go on my second channel, check this short clip and decide whether you feel like making this bracelet or not. I know that the time of every one of you is really limited and that is why you could check this whole video in just 2-3 minutes instead of watching the whole 20 minutes and in this way uh, you will know uh, the whole picture of this project. Ok, so go and check it out and if you like subscribe. You could also help me by liking, sharing and commenting and you don't know how much of a support this is. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in the description you will find of course the short clip that I mentioned and a full list of materials, links to my store, link to PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Ok guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 oz seed beads, you could use 10 oz seed beads if you want. And here I use Lobster's Claw Clasp, this jump ring, this is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters, and you could use 0.14 or 0.16, it doesn't matter that much. And here I use size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers and I use them only if I need to go through a difficult bit so they are not obligatory. Okay, and now I'm going to take about 3 feet of thread on my needle, which is about 90 centimeters, and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back, and what I want to take here are 4 of these beautiful golden beads. Okay, I have 4 of them, and I'm going to slide those down, stick my needle in my mat, and here what I want to do is make a loop and a knot, okay? And I'm making my loop going twice through it with my tail thread and then I pull and I will make one more knot and this is called hull hitch knot or surgeon's knot and it's really secure when you go twice through the loop before you start your work okay now I go through my following golden, just like this, and I have this beautiful cross, and I will take one black bead and go through the following golden, one more black, go through the golden, black okay and I repeat this four times now I will go through this black one here just like this and what I'm going to take are four golden beads. Okay, I have my four on my needle here. And I'm going back in circle through this black one. Okay. Now I'm going through the first golden on my way. Take just one black. Go through the second golden on my way and do this okay black
okay and in order to make this look like my first element i will skip this black one here at the edge and go directly through the golden okay and in this way i will make additional thread path connecting the goldens one more time Okay, and now I have these two elements that are absolutely the same. And now, guys, I'm going to take two more goldens and I will go back through these two goldens in this direction. Here and here. And as I'm adding two goldens and going through two goldens that are already there. I have again a cross of four goldens. So this is third element that looks like my other elements, but I'm adding less beads because it shares beads with my first added elements, okay? With my neighbor elements. Now I have this. And in my next step, I'm going here in circle and my goal is to exit through one of the golden beads here. Okay, I have this and I want to make fourth element just like the others I did. I'm taking two goldens and I'm going through the goldens that are already there. Okay, going around in circle and I add my last black bead from this circle here of beads that I did. Okay, it's more like a square of beads I did. Okay, so now I'm going through the next black one. Take one black and I go here through this black one in circle. Then I go through the following golden and my goal is to exit out of the next black here. Okay, I'm exiting out of this black one. And I'm taking three blacks. And I go back in circle through this one at the angle. And you see what I have. I have a cross of four beads. Then what I do is that I go through the golden and through the black one. Take just one black, go back through this black, just like this. Then I go through the golden here. And you know, again, my goal is to exit out of this black one here at the edge. And I need three blacks. Go back through this one, like that. Exit out of the next black. Okay, guys, and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this and in my next step, what I want to do is go through these three beads here that I added last. Okay, I'm going through these one, two, three beads and now guys, it's easier for me to flip my work. Okay, now I'm, if you don't see my thread, I'm exiting here of this one. I take one golden. And as I'm exiting from this one, I go through this black. Not the outer one, but the inner one. 
okay then I take one more golden and I go here at the edge through the black one then I take three goldens and I skip this one I'm exiting out of this one here I skip the one that's um, in the center that's sticking out the most and I go through this one here now I'm exiting out of this one take one golden go through the inner black one to the one that's closer to the center I mean then I take one golden and as I'm exiting here from this black one I go through this outer black if you don't see my thread just follow my needle and my instructions okay then I take three goldens I skip the one that's in the middle and I go through the following black okay guys and I will continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I'm exiting here out of this black one and I'm adding my last three beads from this row just like that now I'm going through the outer black black bead that the one that's sticking out and what I need here are three goldens okay three go back here through this one okay like this then in my next step I will go here through this black one and here at the edge and I will add here three black beads okay three of them and I go back in circle just like this okay then again through all of those beads through this golden black golden and I'm aiming for this black one here that's sticking out of my work and I need to take three goldens and I go back through this black one here I'm aiming here for the edge here at the edge I need to add three black beads okay three and I go back here through this one and I'll show you one more time going through all of those beads in this direction because I'm aiming for this black one here and I take three beads okay and I'm going to continue these two more times and I'll meet you here okay guys and now I'm here where I just added my last three beads from this row and what I want to do next is go through the following golden and I'm going to take just one black and I go here through this golden okay now I have this and here guys I will exit out of this golden here at the edge and I'm going to add three more black beads and I'm going back in circle through this golden here then I go through the following golden take one black and go through this golden Okay, then I want to reach here my last of these three goldens okay I'm exiting here and I take one gold one black sorry and I go through the following golden okay 
OK. Then I go here at the edge. And as I'm exiting from this golden, I take three black beads. And I go back in circle through this golden. Then I go from the outside to the center, through the last golden of those three. And I take just one black bead. Okay. And I pull. And now guys, I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. If you forgot how I'm doing this, just rewind the video and repeat those steps from here. And I'll meet you here at the end to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and here I am guys, where I'm adding my last black, beads for, black bead from this row. And what I want to do next is go here through those black beads at the edge and exit out of the one that's sticking out the most. Okay, and then what I want to do is take one golden bead. Then I'm going to take my clasp. And one more golden bead. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going back in circle through this black one here. Okay, and when I pull, I have this. And I'm going to reinforce this joint by going several times around it. Okay guys, and now I'm here where I want to make a knot and cut my thread and I'm making a knot by making here a loop and going once, going second time through the loop I've made, then I pull and in my next step I'm going through the following seed bead and I could repeat this knot several more times. And when I'm ready, I will cut my thread. Okay, now I have the beginning of my bracelet ready and the first element attached. By the way, if you put ear wire here, you will have an earring. And now I will make one more element like this, but I won't cut my thread and I'll be back to tell you how to connect this one to the, to the following. Okay guys, and now I have a second element here and I'm exiting with my thread here through this black one in this direction and now I want to connect it to this first element and I will connect it to this bead that is just the opposite of where I attached my clasp okay and I'm taking one golden bead and I'm going here through this black one through the one that's sticking out the most and I take one golden and what I do is that I go back here in circle through this black one. Okay. Now you see what I have. A loop and two beads here in this loop. One from each side and then I'm going back through those beads reinforcing the loop. Okay several times, two or three times. Okay, and after I do this, I'm going here in this element and what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made. And then I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. And by the way, you could repeat this knot several times. 
just to be sure everything is nice and secure and when you're ready cut your thread and now I have the first two elements of my bracelet ready and I will continue adding more and more elements and when I'm ready when I have six elements you could do even seven or more depending on your wrist side and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet okay guys and when I continue beading this is what I have I have six elements attached here and just to explain how I reached up to here with my thread after I attached this element to this one I went with my thread through all of those beads here in this direction and I exited here at the edge so I attached this element to this one the absolutely the same way I showed you before but I just went through those beads and exited here at the edge okay and what I want to take next are four of these beautiful golden beads then I'm going to take my jump ring and I will go back in circle just like this attaching it to my work okay and I will go reinforcing it Okay, and now I'm here and what I want to do is make a knot the same way I showed you before. Okay, I'm making here a loop and I'm going once, then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I go through the following seed bead here just like that and after this I cut my thread and now guys my bracelet is ready okay guys and now my fine geometric bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when i make a new absolutely free tutorials to inspire you and you could also subscribe to my second channel when I, where I have short previews of all of my videos down there in description you will find the full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me